Good morning world! Today is day 5 of my April vlog series. It's going by pretty fast. Um, I just woke up <laughs> and I am about to do a home workout. I like to get my workouts in in the morning if you haven't been able to tell so far. And that's because it just feels better. It feels better to just get sweaty in the morning and it's kind of like a meditation for me. I just zone out onto whatever the workout program is that I'm doing and it clears my mind, gets me stretched out, gets me warmed up for my day. So I'll show you guys a little bit about what that looks like. out of work and I am down here at the beach and I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about something that is near and dear to my heart and it has to deal with depression and anxiety and how to get out of that. So first and foremost you must realize that your thought patterns are habits. They are something that you have formed yourself and created about your place in the world and how you react to certain situations and thought processes. And just as you have made those habits, you can also rewire them. And this is where a lot of the work goes in. So when I was depressed, a lot of times I found myself getting into those cycles, those patterns of thought, as I'm sure you do as well. And they're just negative cycles that bring you down, or you have certain reactions to different stimuli in your life, like an interaction with a person, a phone call with your mom. You react in certain ways that you have programmed yourself to react to them in that way, if that makes sense. So you are very much like a computer, and you can deprogram and also reinstall new programs that are better suited for your time in your life. And those new programs are new habits and new ways of looking at the world. And that's where I started to dive into a little bit about gratitude journaling. I'll link the description in the box below about my gratitude 
journal playlist that I created and that is how I started to create new thought patterns about different situations in my life or situations that I always was coming up against, whether they were in work or with family or with friends. First, finding gratitude was the gateway into creating new thoughts and new habits and new ways of thinking. And that's where you are going to start to see and change your life because all depression and anxiety is. While some people do need care for that because of their imbalance, chemical imbalances in their brain, most people who are around my age who have anxiety and depression it is because of certain thought patterns that you've created in your life. And start first with gratitude and work up from there and see what beautiful things can happen. And it all is about where you want to put the work in. If you want to put the work in every day to continuing those cycles of depression and those habits that bring you down, then do it. But if you want to feel happy and to feel better and to feel more like yourself in this world and to find the beauty and all the joy that you can have, then it is time for you to dive in and do the work and start to reprogram your mind and start with the gratitude journal and let me know how that goes. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful and blessed day day and I hope that this may have sparked a little bit of a light in you to show you that you can be the change for yourself and I love you guys have a great day